That traffic today may have been caused by a reproduction of JFK's iconic convertible limousine. Today, we got an exclusive look at it and a ride around downtown Dallas. President Kennedy had a telephone. He could talk to the White House. This is the uh, president. It's like a time machine. This is a 1961 Lincoln. Specifically built. It's from the exact blueprints of Kennedy's car. Down to the smallest detail. The radio is upside down. To produce a trip right back to the era of JFK. These are called jump seats. This replica of his presidential limousine. This is from the original bolt of material from President Kennedy's car. Is so close to the real thing. You get that moment of silence where it's just like, really, I mean, is it here? Something unbelievable. It's become a favorite of photographers. Some of the flags, the interior of the car. Amateur and professional. Tomorrow, the car will star in the Stephen King-inspired series 112263. This is the ninth movie that this car has been in. It first appeared in Oliver Stone's movie JFK in 1991. Owner and JFK history buff Nicholas Shashelli took us for a ride just blocks away from the set at Dealey Plaza. Driving it here is all different than any other city it's been in. The limo stops traffic. Thank you as drivers admire it. This keeps the memory going. Shishelli loves lending his car to JFK Productions, but all the movies and all the years later, he says the ending still comes as a shock. I wait for it not to happen. That's what I wish it would not happen, but it always keeps happening. Jason Wheeler, Channel 8 News.